Hi everybody, it's me, Sailor Jupiter, aka Lita here. And today I'm gonna no. Today I'm gonna talk about why Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon or PGSM was never ever dubbed into English or never, you know, distributed or outside of Japan. Now there's going to be people who will say, oh, it was. Then they will say that the live action PGSN, so they're going to say, yeah. Now, if you go on I Offer, you're going to come across a lot of bootleg Pretty Garden Sailor Moon live action, you know, dubbed DVDs or Blu-rays, whatever. They were never officially dubbed. And PGSM, a Pretty Garden Sailor Moon live action, was never ever dubbed into, well, make it, it was subbed into multiple languages, but never dubbed. And it was never released it outside of Japan. So making it complete, making it completely useless that it was actually dubbed. Now, a lot of theories to why it was dubbed, why it was subbed, of course, but never ever release it outside. Normally when you sub something, it's under the attention or the pretense that somebody else is going to watch it. That it's going to be, I don't know, syndicated or distributed or distributed somewhere else and that they, and that, you know, but, norm, but that didn't happen. Now a lot of people are going to say that, oh, that's because Pretty Guardian, Sail Moon, or PGSM, the live action series, didn't do as well as they expected. There isn't really any evidence to back that up. I don't even know if that was the case or not. Some people, that's one of the theories. Now, I've watched every single episode, including the specials, you know, and it was good. I didn't think that, that but for some reason, it was good. So there really isn't any, you know, facts to back up that didn't do very well. That was what a one person claimed. That it was too expensive to have it, you know, distributed outside of Japan. Maybe that was the case. Maybe it was too expensive for Toei to do it. That's another theory. But then someone might say, but... But if that was the case, it was probably very expensive for Toei to even license out Sailor Moon anime for English adaptation purposes as far as Deke and Pioneer and Cloverway was concerned. Um, another theory goes, nobody wanted to air it. Now, that could be another case. Maybe there were, they were planning to have it, they were planning to release it, but nobody wanted to touch it. You know, that could have been the case. I don't know if that was true or not. Maybe it was the case. Um, another argument someone might present is the contract for all Sailor Moon content expired in 2003 AD, so that's why Sailor Moon, that's why PGSM never got and released it outside of Japan. Um, that was for the anime, you know, that was for the English adaptation, and I don't think that was, had any, I don't think that played any role in why it was never released it outside. Now, a lot of people will have a lot of theories to why this was done. I think it would have been cool if PGSM was um, so, uh, dubbed into multiple languages and then released it out to those respected countries or countries where that dialect of language was spoken. But in other words, it didn't happen. Now a lot of people say that there's a, a lot of people say that another argument, I don't know if anybody actually says this argument, but another argument might be, oh, the Power Rangers were, you know, were around and to and and Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon didn't want to be a, didn't want it, didn't want to be a competition. Um, 
first off, there isn't really any evidence to back this one up. Now, some might say when Pretty Guardian Sailed Moon was going on, this was around 2003 AD, the Power Rangers were doing Power Rangers Ninja Storm at the time. Now, people are going to make arguments saying that maybe the Power Rangers didn't want a competition. Well, I hardly doubt that Disney had any, I uh, hardly doubt that Disney had any, or Power Rangers had any, you know, control or any influence with Toei as far as Pretty Garden Sailor Moon was concerned for it being released outside of Japan. That's a theory, of course. But for whatever reason, PGSM never got dubbed. It got subbed into multiple languages. And it was never released. I mean, a lot of people are gonna go to a lot of people unfortunately on e a lot of people and I offer are gonna come across bootleg pretty guardian sail moon D V D, you know, sets claiming that it was dubbed, claiming this and claiming that, but they were basically bootlegs. But there never was no official Pretty Garden Sale Moon live action dub, and it never was. It never got dubbed into any language. Well, it got subbed into multiple languages, but it never gotten released it outside of Japan. And how few how people come across it? YouTube, Daily Motion, you know, Bugon. I mean, it's out there, but it never gotten released it officially by anybody. And it's certainly never gotten that. Now, if anybody has any theories to why Toei never decided decide why Nako Takechi, Takechi and Toei decided that the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon live action was not going to be distributed or distributed outside of Japan, and that it was only going that it. Does anybody have any theories to why that was done? Well, let me know because I really don't know. <sighs> I'm Sailor Jupiter, I'm Lita, and I'll see you later.